In this video, we'll be talking about how to determine if something will be a function or not. Something is going to be a function if for every x value, there's only one y, y value. So that means that for every x, every x value will only give you one y value. For example, this would be a function. If you think of this as our function, this is the input, that's the output. For every x input, there's only one y output. So that is the example of a function. Looking at real numbers, let's say every time we put in x equals 3, we only get y equals 5. And if we get we put in x equals 4, we get y equals 7. So for every 1x, every x, we only get 1y. That would be a function. This is not a function. If you put in 1x, but it's splitting, spitting out two y values. For example, if we put in a 3 and we get a 5, but if we also put in, we, we put in 3 again and we get 6, then that wouldn't be a function because for every 1x, we're getting two y's. Is this going to be a function or not a function? Well, this would be a function because if we put in 3, we get 5, and if we put in 1, we get 5. So for every one unique x, we get we get a y. So although we there's two x's that give us the same y, that's OK, because the definition is for every x gives one y. It's OK for, for one output to have multiple different inputs. Another way that you can determine if something is a function or not, if you're given a graph, is just to use the vertical line test. We draw a vertical line. The line, sh the vertical line should only intersect the, the graph at one place. So you can see that as we move it, the, the red line only crosses the, the green graph at one point. So that would pass the vertical line test. This would fail the vertical line test. If, right here, if I draw this line right here, you can see that the red line intersects the, gra the green graph in three different places. That means for this one x input, we're getting three y outputs. And that would violate the definition of a function. Now let's take a look at some example problems. So this first one asks, gives us a set of x's and y points, and then asks us which is a function. So for something to be a function for every one x, there could only be one y. In A, we can see that a value of 8 gives us 2, but the value 8 also gives us 3. So 8 is giving us both 2 and 3. That's violating the rule that 1x gives 1y. So then that's not going to be a function. In B, um, in in B, it looks like 12 gives us two different y values. 12 will give us 2, and then 12 also gives us 4. So B is also not going to be a function. In C, we have diff we have unique x values, and then they're, they're so then none of none of the x values are repeating. So C is going to be the answer that for every one x, we're going to get only one y value. And let's just check D. In D, you can see that there's two four appears twice, and they're giving us different y values. So that means that is not a function. In this next problem, we're given a we're given four graphs, and we have to, and it asks us which of the graphs does not illustrate a function. So which one of these graphs are not a function? Here we can just use the vertical line test, and we t we draw a vertical line and see if the vertical line crosses the graph in more than one place. So A passes the vertical line test. B it fails the vertical line test because it crosses the the graph in two places. So that means that B is going to be the answer this is not a function. And then in, in C and D, you can just see if we take that line and we drag it, it's only going to cross the, the red graph once. So those A, C, and D are functions because they pass the vertical line test. B fails the vertical line test, so it is not a function. Here we're given another set of x's and y's, and this time it asks us which one is not a function. So we're going to, be going to look for which one of these sets contain repeating x value, the same x values. Here we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. They're all unique. 1, 1, 1, 1. Oh, these all contain 1. So then for, for this input of 1, we're getting 2, 4, 6, and 8 as our output. So then we know this one is not a function because for at the input of 1, we're getting multiple outputs. Here we have another example of when we're given a graph and have to determine which one is not a function. So here we can just use the vertical line test. This one's going to pass the vertical line test. This one passes the vertical line test because as we drag, it only crosses once. And then C is going to fail the vertical line test because if we draw a line right here, it's actually going to it's going to overlap on all the points, intersect out all the points. So C is going to be the answer that it is not a function because it fails the vertical line test. So just to recap, a function is something that gives you for every for every x that you put in, you're only going to get one y. That's the function. 
If you put in x and you're getting multiple y values, that is not a function. Another way you can check if something's a function is just by using the vertical line test. The vertical line that you draw should only intersect the graph at one point. If it intersects the graph at multiple points, it fails the vertical line test and is not a function.